everyone, welcome to Fullerton Academy. Today's lesson is part two of the previous video, Long Division. The only difference is I wanted to feature the method used by Singapore Math for students who are learning math and math in focus. This is how it is done in that particular curriculum. So please let me know at the end which one you like best, okay? It's very similar except for a little twist. So let's see how you feel about it. I have decided to start a brand new problem. Um, I wanted you to learn to divide 875 divided by eight. And once again, I place eight dots, four in the top, four in the bottom, because I know there's some kids who still have not memorized their times table. And guess what? A third grader could learn this. For some second graders, you probably could start learning this if you're a second grader who a second grader who is, you know, on top of your game. I don't see why you can't learn it now. Why not? So let me show you what to do. We're going to start by listing our multiple. If you haven't learned, memorize your times table. We're going to list our multiples of eight. What I'm doing is using repeated addition to create my own times table. So I'm going to start with eight. I'm going to add eight plus eight is 16. So if you do not remember how to to do it by memory, you could say 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So 24, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So 32, the next number, 32 plus 8 is 40, 48, 56. And what's the next number? 64. Next number, 72. And the last number is 80. You remember I said that once you get to 80 when the number is the same, it means that you did it right. So now we're going to list our multiples. I'm sorry, this is our multiple I meant to say. Now we're going to list our groups. So I'm going to put one which represent one group of eight is equal to eight, two is equal to 16, three is 24, four is 32, five groups of eight is 40, six represent 48, seven represent 56, eight represents 64, and nine represents 72, 10 represent 80, yay! So now let's go ahead and start. Remember I told you to place the line to separate the place value? We're going to do it here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and place a H for 100, T for 10s, and I'm going to place a O for 1s, all right? Now let's go ahead and start dividing. The way Singapore Math does it is a little different. Let me show you. Eight goes in, so we're going to start with a hundreds place. We know that eight goes into eight one time. If you look over here, you have eight, you're going to get one group. So remember, this represents the answer. So this one is going to be placed right in this location. We're going to place one here. The only difference with the previous one is Singapore Math said, well, if it's in the, if we're working with the hundreds place, we should have two zeros and they're absolutely correct. So now what we're going to put is put 800 here. It's going to add two zeros right here. That's the difference because we're working with a hundreds place. So it would make sense to subtract 800, right? I think it makes sense. So now we're going to just subtract. And guess what? For students who often forget to bring the numbers down or get confused, this method is perfecto. Very nice. So now let's subtract. Five take away zero is five. Seven take away zero is seven. And eight take away eight is eight. Now we're done with the hundreds place. Now we're going to go to the tens place. So we're only going to look at this digit only. Just the, just the seven, okay? So how many times does seven go into, I'm sorry, how many groups of eight can I get out of seven? Guess what? I can't because I only have an eight. Seven is not enough. So you know what you're going to have to do? You are right. We've got to add a zero. So now the zero is going to go here. And this is the reason why I'm telling you it's very important. 
that you place the place value. Do you know how many students would not put the zero there? They would just go ahead and place another number. But the mere fact that I have a one in the hundreds place tells me that I need three digits. I'm sorry, three digits in my answer. So I'm going to go ahead and do my next place value, which is the ones. Now I have 75 ones. So basically what I did, I had ten, seven tens. I didn't have enough. I got to change those tens into ones. So now I have 75 ones. Eight going to 75 how many times? Let's take a look at my column and see if I have enough. Look, 72 is right here. It means I have nine. So I'm going to put nine right above and nine times, nine times eight, as you could see right here, is going to give me 72. I'm going to subtract. I am going to get three as my answer. I'm done. So right again, once again, we're going to represent this answer on uh, all grade level. So the answer would be for third and fourth grade. It's going to be 109 remainder three. For fifth grade, it's going to be 109. You remember? Okay, you're right. Three over eight. So the way you'd read this is 109 and three eighths. Okay, I hope you enjoy this method. It's kind of cool because guess what? What's nice about it in a sense, if you can remember to just um, represent the place value, it becomes easy. You have three digits for the hundreds, two digits for the tens, and then you're going to have the ones. When you don't have enough, obviously, you got to convert it. But the point is, it works. But guess what? What's so wonderful is that you have freedom of choice. You could decide which method you like best. All right? If you have any question, please feel free to reach out to us at our email at fullertonacademy19 at gmail.com. Please check out our website at fullertonacademy.org. I thank you for your support as usual. The next video that's coming up, I'm going to teach you another method. And I hope you like it as well. I will see you soon. You take care. And once again, um, don't forget, if you're, if you're learning um, Singapore math, I want you to go ahead and rewrite this problem and try to solve it again, okay? Um, it's a way to uplift you, to bill you, um, so you can be the boss, all right? Take care. I enjoy this time with you. I will see you soon. Bye.